subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about logistic regression. By looking at the name logistic regression, we think that this is a regression model. No, it's a classification model. That too, it's a binary class classification model. We cannot do multi-class classification using logistic regression. In our previous classes, we discussed about two models, KNN and naive base models. We can apply binary class and multi-class using KNN and naive base models. But using logistic regression, we cannot apply multi-class classification. We can solve this logistic regression using two ways. One is geometric approach and second one is probabilistic approach. Here we will discuss about geometric approach. After completing all our models, we will discuss about probabilistic approach. So the concepts required, the mathematical basics required for understanding of this logistic regression was clearly discussed in our previous classes. Our assumption here is you have already watched all those classes. So the link for playlist is provided in the description below. Please follow our playlist for better understanding of the subject. Here we will take an example data set and understand what logistic regression is. The example data set which we consider here is Canso prediction data set. In this, we are having two columns, test one and test two. These are the input columns, and the output column is Y is given as one means patient is having cancer, zero means patient don't have cancer. This is the usual notation which we follow in binary class classification, but in logistic regression, we will follow different notation. One means taken as positive one, zero means taken as negative, negative one means patient don't have cancer means minus one, patient having cancer means plus one. So based on the test values, it was given the patient is having cancer or not. For simplicity, we are taking 10 data points. So these 10 data points are plotted in two dimensional coordinate system. Why two dimensional coordinate system? We are having two columns. So test one is taken on X axis, test two is taken as Y axis. The test one, test two are taken as X1 and X2 for simplicity sake, X1 and X2. Okay, we plotted this data in two dimensional coordinate system. Initially, first we understand graphical intuition, how logistic regression model works and how it will do prediction on our future data points. This we will understand graphically. Then we apply this graphical intuition on equations so that it's easy to understand the equations. First, we will graphically give you an idea what logistic regression model is doing and how it is predicting our future data points. So this is our data set these 10 data points are plotted this is our training data are plotted like this so what our logistic regression model will do is it will identify a line that separates positive and negative data points so it is using it is identifying a line if your data set is in three dimensional coordinate system means if you are having three columns we will plot this data in three dimensional coordinate system means our logistic regression model will identify a plane that separates positive and negative points if it is above three dimensional coordinate system if you are having n columns our model will identify hyperplane n dimensional hyperplane that separates positive and negative points for simplicity we are explaining the concept in two dimensional coordinate system we can extend this concept to any dimension so what our logistic regression model will identify it will identify line if it is two dimension if it is above three dimension or three dimension it will identify plane all these are linear equations line is a linear equation plane is a linear equation hyperplane is also a linear equation so logistic regression models works properly only on data sets that are linearly separable. This is the first point we have to understand. Linearly separable or almost linearly separable. Let's take the let's understand graphically. Suppose if you identify a line like this. 
means with this line we separated this positive and negative points using this line means this data set is almost linearly separable why almost linearly separable some points are not separated some negative points went uh, on this side some positive points are not separated properly that's why it is almost linearly separate separable so linear logistic regression model works properly on data sets that are linearly separable so what's not linearly separable means take this data set negative points are given in red color positive points are given in blue color this negative points are surrounded by positive points you take any equation of the line you take an equation like this like this we cannot separate positive and negative points in this data set that's why this data set we call it as not linearly separable on this type of data sets logistic regression models won't work properly so our assumption is our data set is linearly separable okay and it will identify a line what's our logistic regression model will do from the data set it will identify a line that separates this positive and negative data points so with this line with the after identifying this line it will use this line for predicting our future data points how it will use this line for predicting our future data points if you found this line as the best line how, why this is best line we will discuss later if, if if our logistic regression model found this line as the best line it will use this equation of the line for predicting our future data points how it will do so the equation of the line is given like this w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w0 is equal to 0 so this can be written as w transpose x plus w0 is equal to 0 where w is equal to w1 w2 we discussed in our previous class this is a normal to the plane means a vector that is perpendicular to the plane assume that w is this one and we discussed that if you take a point on this side if you calculate the distance of a point from this line the distance will will get it as positive distance because the point is on the side of w if the points are on the side of w we will get positive distance if the points are on the other side of the w we will get negative distance based on this concept our logistic regression model will identify our future prediction data points if you got the distance as positive it will predict as positive point if you got the distance as negative it will predict as negative data point this is how logistic regression do prediction and coming to the important point we we took this line as the best line why only this line why logistic regression which line has to be chosen by logistic regression why not some other line like this why only this line let's understand it graphically then put this concept in equation form so why let's assume that this is the line l1 so this is our data set this these points are our training data points take this point this is a positive point means actually it is a positive point if you take this line our model also predicting as positive point because it is on the side of w so what's our model will predict it will predict as positive point actually it is positive point our model also predicting positive means correctly classified point this is also correctly classified point this is also correctly classified point this is also correctly classified point but this is not correctly classified point actually it is negative but our our model will predict as positive because on this side our model will predict as positive so incorrectly classified point take this point actually it is negative on this side our model will predict as negative means correctly classified correctly classified correctly classified correctly classified incorrectly classified out of 10 data points how many are incorrectly classified by taking this line l1 two points are incorrectly classified okay let's take another line like this l2 and the w value normal is on this side means our model will predict this side points as positive points this side points as negative points for l2 so this is correctly classified correctly classified correctly classified incorrectly classified because this side our model will predict as a positive value incorrect 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 this side our model will predict as negative incorrect incorrect 
out of 10 data points, 5 are incorrectly classified data points. So which line is the best line? L1 or L2? Obviously L1 is the best line. Why L1 is best line? It is giving maximum number of correctly classified points. So use this concept. We logistic regression use this concept for identifying the best line. How it will identify the best line? The line that is giving maximum number of correctly classified points. This is the graphical intuition for identifying the best line. Now put this concept into equation to get to identify this best line. The equation which we use here is yi di. So why we have chosen this equation, we'll understand at the end of the class. Just follow the steps. At the end, we'll get a clear clarity on why we have chosen yi di values. What are these values? How to solve this? Everything will be clarified at the end of the class. So we have taken yi di values. yi means actual value. See here, this is our data set, training data set. y1, our first data point. This is x11, x12, this is y1. So y1 is actual data point. D1 means distance of this point from our line. That is what D1 means. If D1 is positive, our model will predict as positive data point. If D1 is negative, our model will predict as negative data point. So D1 is predicted value. Based on D1, we can predict the value. It is positive or negative. So we have to multiply yi into di. How we calculate di? The equation for calculating di is, we clearly discussed in our previous class. di is equal to w transpose xi plus w naught by mod w means length of w. For, under, for equation simplicity, we are choosing this line. The line is passing through origin. No need to choose this assumption that the line is passing through origin. For equation simplicity, we are choosing it. So if line is passing through origin, di is equal to w transpose. w naught is equal to 0. w transpose xi by length of w. If you know w values, w is normal to a plane. If you know a vector that is normal to the plane, we can identify unit normal. So if chosen w is taken as unit normal, then the length will be 1, di is equal to w transpose xi. So we are taking this assumption, no need to take this assumption. If you don't want to take this assumption, don't take. Uh, we are taking this assumption, that's why wherever we find the value di, we will use this formula. If you are not taking this assumption, use this formula. That's the difference. For equation simplicity, we are taking di, we are calculating di using this formula w transpose xi. So yi is actual value, di is a predicted value. Let's find different equations which we got from yi di. Yi is positive, means actual first one is positive. Di is also positive, means predicted is also positive. Calculate di for first point. That's what we have done here. So graphically, everything is shown previously. So calculate di value. If it is positive, positive into positive will get positive value, means correctly classified point. Suppose yi is negative, means actual value is negative. Calculate di for that point. If di is also negative, Negative into negative will get a positive, means correctly classified point. So when we say that our point is correctly classified, yi di value is positive. Let's take the opposite. yi is positive, means actual value is positive. Our predicted value di is negative, means incorrectly classified point. yi di will be negative. Multiplying positive into negative will get negative. So yi is negative and di is positive. Negative into positive will get it as negative. So what we understand from yi di, if yi di value is positive, our point is correctly classified point. If yi di value is negative, our point is incorrectly classified point. So calculate yi di values for all our data points and sum them up. So the equation is 
sigma i is equal to 1 to n how many points we have 10 points 1 to 10 yi di calculating yi di value for all the data points means y1 d1 y2 d2 so on y10 d10 okay this summation value will be maximum so for let's take two lines l1 and l2 calculate yi di values for l1 and l2 means this summation value calculate this summation value for both l1 line and l2 line if you got this summation value for which line will get this summation value maximum for l1 line we are having eight correctly classified points means eight positive yi di values positive the more number of positive values yi di positive values the summation value will be maximum so the summation this summation will be maximum for which line this summation will be maximum l1 or l2 l1 is having eight positive yi di values means correctly classified points l2 is having five correctly classified points uh, these are the lines l1 and l2 if you calculate yi di values uh, so which one is having this summation value maximum l1 will have this summation value maximum this is the point uh, used by logistic regression so logistic regression uses this equation for finding the best line how it will find it will find the line that is having this summation value maximum for which line this summation value is having maximum value that line will be identified by logistic regression so put that into equation argmax w1 w2 sigma i is equal to 1 to n yi di what's this equation means this is our optimization function what's this optimization function meaning is for what values of w1 and w2 this summation will be maximum that w1 w2 should be identified it's very very important to understand this equation for what values of w1 and w2 means we have to identify w1 and w2 for what values of w1 and w2 this summation will be maximum that's the meaning of this equation here variables are w1 and w2 we have to identify w1 and w2 don't get confused everyone will think that here variables are x1 y1 no w1 and w2 are variables so we have to solve this equation and identify w1 and w2 why w1 and w2 are variables so yi di can be written as yi da can be replaced as w transpose xi w transpose xi means yi into w1 xi1 plus w2 xi2 here yi xi1 xi2 are given by training data set yi xi1 xi2 substitute all the values what are not given here w1 and w2 is not given here that's what we have to identify if you identify w1 and w2 values means that's the equation of the line we'll get equation of the line based on which values w1 and w2 values so solve this equation and identify w1 and w2 values this is our optimization function used by logistic regression how to solve this equation and identifying w1 and w2 values we will discuss in our next later classes in our next class we are calculating distance here because of this distance we will get some disadvantage what's the disadvantage how to solve the disadvantage we'll discuss in our next class after that we'll go and discuss how to solve this equation and identify this w1 and w2 values in our next next classes okay hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you